Chapter 4. AI-Driven Digital Transformation of the Business Enterprise Part 1. There is no doubt that artificial intelligence will increasingly become a transformative and disruptive driving force in business, not only impacting all aspects of the business enterprise, business models, and most business sectors, but also give rise to novel market opportunities and affect industries of the future, where we will see more AI-powered codification of money, markets, and trust, the weaponization of code through AI-driven cybersecurity, and the development of radical markets. It has been estimated that AI will add $13 trillion to the global economy over the next decade. Having been directly involved in developing and delivering impactful AI software solutions in a number of industries and business sectors across the globe over the last two decades, it has been amazing to see how business value drivers such as customer growth, retention, risk, productivity, efficiency, throughput, yield, and quality can be impacted as more data becomes available and business are getting better instrumented and connected. This is further assisted by the significant increase in computing and data storage and processing capability and the AI and smart technology toolboxes are being strengthened by the utility and capability of more powerful algorithms using all available structured and unstructured data. As enterprises expect AI to enable them to move into new business segments or to maintain a competitive advantage in their industry, rethinking of industries and the enterprise itself is needed. We now see an evolution of markets with respect to more informed consumers, faster and scalable marketplaces, dynamic and vibrant businesses, and leaner operations. Significant advances in AI are helping the creation of new industries and business segments by taking a fast adoption journey to move from discovery to commercial application to a new industry. Some early examples of AI driving new industry segments include GPS-driven ride-sharing companies, hyper-personalized online shopping platforms, focusing on micro-segments, intelligent virtual assistants driving conversations with customers as well as within the enterprise, recommendation-driven streaming channels, and adaptive learning-based educational companies. We have also seen a tremendous increase in AI-focused startups with investments growing 1,800% in the last six years. These developments are putting more pressure on executive management of enterprises to act swiftly in making strategic shifts to monetize these new business opportunities and adapting their business models as the acceleration of AI adoption and its applications spawn the creation of new industries and business segments. Although the current focus of AI applications is mostly on optimizing efficiencies in existing industries, the most formidable long-term economic use of AI will likely be in solving large, complex and open problems that could be the foundations of new industry segments. For this, business leaders and AI strategists need to spot important trends, keep track of state-of-the-art AI developments and act quickly around new possibilities. We also need to specifically rethink the impact of human-computer interaction, automation, jobs, the workplace, and cybersecurity, amongst many other factors that are impacting business value drivers, employees, and customer experience. It is also evident that customer-facing businesses need to offer personalized customer experiences at scale, which is beautifully illustrated by the success of the internet giants like Google, Amazon, and Alibaba and their ability to deliver personalized experiences and recommendations. By using AI to build a dynamic real-time 360-degree profile of customers as they interact through mobile apps, intelligent virtual assistants, and online web portals, providers of goods and services can quickly learn how their AI-driven predictions can fit customers' wants and needs with ever-increasing accuracy. When we flip through recommendations on Netflix or Amazon or search on Google, most of the AI-based calculations are happening in high-powered processors inside remote data centers in the cloud, with handheld or desktop devices acting as an interface and communicating the results. This will change as AI algorithms become more efficient and capable of running on low-power devices at the edge where customer processors designed to carry out real-time analytics on the fly close to the point where the data is gathered and used. With the cost of hardware and software continuing to fall, AI tools augmented by IoT, cloud and edge computing 
virtual and augmented reality, and so on, will increasingly be embedded into our vehicles, appliances, and workplace tools, giving these devices of every shape and size the ability to learn for themselves. As IoT integration will allow the development of environments where solution providers and consumers can interact, it will likely also be possible to design experiences over products, which will affect business models further. Towards AI-driven digital transformation For any business to stay relevant and thrive given the swift pace of change and disruption in the smart technology era, it needs to be transformed into an AI-driven business and have increasingly more real-time intelligence built into all aspects of its internal operations, customer needs and impact, and competitive and collaborative forces in the ecosystem in which the business operates. For business to move towards AI-driven automated decision-making, they need to overcome the barrier of information quality. However, accurate data is becoming increasingly available with better quality sensors, improved connectivity, and an increase in smart technology and methods of simulating real-world processes and mechanisms in the digital domain. We will see an increase in the availability and accuracy of real-world simulations, which in turn will lead to more powerful and accurate AI systems. With computers now powerful enough and trained on accurate enough data to do simulations in the digital world, the expense and risk of testing AI systems in the real world can also be reduced. For example, we have now seen how simulations help businesses working on the development of autonomous vehicles to gain thousands of hours of driving data without vehicles even leaving the factory, which in turn leads to increases in data quality and significant reduction in cost. Given the nature of Tesla software-defined electric vehicles, even more accurate real-world driving data is captured. Whether or not they are autopilot enabled, the data from Tesla vehicles is sent directly to the cloud and used to generate highly data-dense maps that they claim are more accurate than alternative navigation systems. The better a company can mine all available internal and external data across its operations, value chain, customers and ecosystem to create real-time dynamic simulation models of all aspects of its business the better it would be able to optimize the business over the short, medium and long-term windows and adjust its course where required. This is relevant across all industries. Across industries, businesses and organizations are assessing ways and means to make better business decisions, utilizing such untapped and plentiful information. As the world gets instrumented, data is generated at an exponential rate, whereas data utilization increases relatively linearly in relation to data generation. With evolving AI technologies that can unlock value from growing data sets and more and more business use cases coming into the fray, there is a need for innovative approaches that takes into consideration the required data infrastructure, computing, both in hardware and software, AI tools and platforms, processes, organizational alignment, and roles. As enterprises look to innovate at a faster pace, launching novel products and improving customer services, they need to find better ways of managing and utilizing data both within the internal and external firewalls. Organizations are realizing the need for and the importance of scaling up their existing data management practices, overcoming siloed execution, and adopting newer information management paradigms to combat the perceived risk of reduced business insight or lack of impactful solution deployment. So, an organization's ability to analyze that data to find meaningful insights and operationalize AI-driven solutions are becoming increasingly complex. Many of the current business success stories have come about with companies enabling analytic innovation and creating data services, embedding a culture of innovation to create and propagate new database solutions, enhancing existing solutions for data mining, implementing predictive analytics and machine learning techniques, complemented by the creation of skills and roles such as data scientists, AI or machine learning engineers, data science developers, big data architects, data visualization specialists, and data engineers, among others. These enterprises' experiences in the AI and big data analytics landscape are characterized by agility, innovation, acceleration, and collaboration. Another key aspect of leveraging smart technology is to always understand where it can be used, when it can be used, and how it can be used.
Business value drivers can typically be categorized as strategic or efficiency related. Some strategic drivers include the generation of new business opportunities through exploratory analysis to uncover hidden patterns, proactive decision making and gaining operational insights via predictive analytics, forecasting customer and market dynamics, speeding up strategic decision making with real-time AI-driven analysis, and better decisions through cross-organizational analysis to quantify the estimated impact of decisions. On the other hand, efficiency value drivers typically include continuous improvements, the reduction of costs on people, processes, and infrastructure and tools that do not enhance an agile and smart data-driven business, and increasing automation to reduce efforts needed to extract, consolidate, and produce reports. Other efficiency drivers include to complement or retool skills of employees, to emphasize problem solving and recommendations, developing data-driven decision-making culture, eliminate redundant tools, data stores and processes, and standardize metrics and streamline processes. We already see how robotic process automation is used to do repetitive work, such as filling in forms, generating reports and diagrams, and producing documentation and instructions. Although this leaves employees to spend more time on complex, strategic, imaginative, and interpersonal tasks, we would need to get used to learning new skills and working alongside AI-powered tools and bots in our day-to-day -day working lives. The IDC predicts that by 2025, 75% of businesses or organizations will be investing in employee retraining in order to fill skills gaps caused by the need to adopt AI. Some example business drivers that I have encountered across multiple industries include increasing operational efficiency, effectiveness and revenue, creating strategic value via faster, better and more proactive decisions, enhanced scalability, new business models and revenue growth opportunities, enhanced customer experience via real-time, on-demand, digital, personalized service delivery, assistance and advice, which is enabled via 360-degree insights about the customer, and targeted sales and marketing. A business can increase its productivity through increasing automation, improving processes, and ensuring equipment availability. To increase revenue, an industrial business is focused on increasing throughput, yield, and quality, whereas a consumer-facing business is more fixated on cross-selling, upselling, and recommending products and services to its customers. To drive efficiency and effectiveness, a business also needs to reduce its risk, which might include process and equipment failure, customer churn, fraud, waste and abuse, and cybersecurity risks. For a business to lower costs, it needs to eliminate redundancy, reduce energy and raw material usage, and have more cost-effective operations and maintenance. Some of the key characteristics of businesses that are early adopters of AI are those that are digitally mature, adopting multiple smart technologies, including AI in core activities, have a focus on growth over savings, and have executive level support for AI. In the chapters to follow, we will see how AI can create business value across the value chain via smarter research and development and forecasting, optimizing production and maintenance, targeted sales and marketing, and enhancing the user experience. The key elements of successful AI-driven digital transformation include the following catalysts to accelerate the path to business value generation. Vision or intent, which involves scanning the use case horizon and sources of value, articulate business needs, and creating business cases, strategic plans, and performance metrics. Data which entails breaking down data silos in the data ecosystem, deciding on the level of aggregation and pre-analysis, and identifying high-value data and data availability. Technology, which identifies first for purpose AI tools and platforms, partner or acquire to plug capability gaps, and taking an agile test and learn approach. Process, which encompasses integrating AI into workflows and workplace processes through change management and optimizing the human-machine interface. And people, which is about adapting an open collaborative culture and organization, building trust in AI insights, developing AI implementation skills, and reskilling the workforce to ensure complementarity. To help guide a business on its digital transformation journey in operationalizing AI solutions, 
I've been recommending and using an adapted, agile version of the IDC's Big Data and Analytics Maturity Scape framework for many years. It is a framework of stages, dimensions, outcomes, and actions required for businesses to effectively advance along the five stages of Big Data and Analytics, or AI Implementation Competency and Maturity. Ad hoc, opportunistic, repeatable, managed, and optimized. The ad hoc stage is more experimental in nature and characterized by ad hoc, siloed pilot projects, undefined processes, and individual effort. The business outcome is typically value obtained through new knowledge and learning. The opportunistic stage is more intentional, where there are typically defined requirements and processes, but unbudgeted funding, as well as project management and resource allocation inefficiency. At this stage, knowledge value grows and business value opportunities become visible as a business outcome. The next stage of competency and maturity is the repeatable stage, where there are recurring projects, budgeted and funded program management, documented strategy and processes, and stakeholder buy-in. Here we see business value being realized, but the business outcome remains localized to business units. When a business moves to a managed stage, the project, process and program measurement influence investment decisions and standards emerge. The business outcome is typically that new product and service opportunities transition to business plans and execution. The final stage is optimized, where AI-driven continuous and coordinated process improvement and value realization leads to previously unattainable business value being continuously produced. This framework allows a way to assess the AI operationalization maturity and competence of a business as it transitions through the various stages over time for each of the five dimensions, which can be visualized in a radar chart. Vision or intent, i.e. strategy, budgeting, justification and culture. Data, i.e. quality, completeness, trust and timeliness. Technology, i.e. deployment, adoption, performance and functionality. People, i.e. skills, organization, collaboration, and training. And process, i.e. data management, data analysis, governance, and measurement. With this framework, a baseline can be used to define short and long-term goals, prioritize smart technology, budget as much for integration and adoption as for technology, plan for improvements, make employee investment decisions, and bring business value into view. As the assessments can be done on a team, business unit, and business level, gaps in current AI competency and maturity levels can be uncovered among functional and cross-functional teams, business units, or between business and IT groups. This allows for all the stakeholders to collaborate in advancing the organization toward a common goal of building a smart technology, data-driven, thriving business that continuously delights customers.